right guys, we are on a mission today. If you've been watching this channel for a long time, then you know that I vlogged the Dead & Co show that was at Wrigley a couple of years ago. Awesome time. So Dead & Co are on their final tour now. It's ending, it's done, it's, it's almost over. They're coming through Chicago this weekend, and I really wanna go, except I don't have a ticket, and I'm kinda broke. So, we're gonna try to sneak into Wrigley today. Here's the good news. I'm no stranger to sneaking into things. When I was stationed in the military in Idaho, I snuck onto the sideline for the fourth quarter of the Boise State Oregon game. When Boise State upset number two ranked Oregon, when Garrett Blunt punched that lineman in the face at the end of the game. It all started with Blunt right there. Yeah, I watched the whole fourth quarter of that game, literally standing next to the football players. And then in college, uh, I went to OU for Number Fest when Wiz Khalifa was headlining, and I snuck backstage, and then I snuck on stage and watched his concert from the back of the stage behind the musicians with just like all the friends and family. Then when I was stationed in Germany in the military, I went to this big concert called Rock'em Ring and I snuck through the fence into this like backstage band hangout area where I hung out with the musicians that played for this solo guy named uh, Raphael Weber. Honestly never heard of him, but fun crew to hang out with. Now with all the times that I've snuck into places that I don't belong, I've learned three things. One, planning. Is that tough to see? Hold on a second. All right, that looks better. Okay, planning. Don't ever just rush into sneaking into a place. Always take a second, look around, and figure out the weak points and best way to get in. Number two, patience. Once you got a plan, don't rush it. There's always a perfect time to make the move. Wait for it, and then go. And three, Confidence. Probably the most important of all of these. Act like you belong and people will believe it. All right. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna make it in today, to be quite honest. Although I will say, if you're watching this, I probably did. Otherwise, this would be a really boring vlog and I honestly probably wouldn't upload it. But before I go try to get into Wrigley, real quick, gotta give a quick shout out to fan of the channel, Alex Husko. He donated five bucks on Venmo and said he loves all the LCD sound system music that I've been using in the vlog. So, thanks Alex, you're awesome. But all right, we're not here to talk about LCD sound system. Today is about Dead & Co. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get in there. All right, so I've heard on the on the Sheffield side where all the the rooftop spots are at. After the band does their sound check, they'll hang out on one of the rooftops. So I heard there's like a space over there that you can go catch them outside the stadium. So we're gonna see we're gonna see if we can catch any. Uh, hey, John Mayer, my little Bob Weir. See if we can catch any of them. So let's see. At 17 to at a quarter to ten, you know it's driving again. Driving that train. Little John Mayer sighting there. Can't beat that. Alright, let's um let's go. Yeah, you better believe it. <laughs> Alright, let's go see if we can scope out a spot, figure out how to sneak into this thing. You gotta do your research. Do your due diligence if you're gonna try to try to make it happen. So let's uh let's see what we can figure out here. Wish me luck, boys. Wish me luck. Train hundred and two is on the wrong track and headed for you. Driving that train. Alright, here's here's what I'm thinking. I did a scope around. I think my best bet to sneak into here is through Gallagher Way, which is that's this little like open space connected to Wrigley Field. So the reason I'm saying that, last time I came to the show I was in there and people kind of bum rush the gate when the concert opens. So I think that's my move. If I could get into there, I think I got a chance to get into the gate. So here's my game plan. I went to all entrances. I found the person who seems to be the laziest about their job. I noticed they're not scanning tickets. They're just checking to see if you have tickets. So from there, I watched to see what the tickets looked like. Is it a barcode? Is it a QR code? And then I found out it's it's a barcode but it's not like your standard barcode it's a long one so then I spent like the last 20 minutes on Google images trying to find a similar barcode and this is what I got 
This is just like a generic standard ticket master barcode, I guess. So now I'm gonna wait for someone to come up and ask them a question or distract them. And I'm gonna try to speed walk by and flash this guy and see if see if that works. Now once I get in there, that that's not the whole battle. It's still gonna be tough to get into that stadium. I'm still have to do a lot more work. This is gonna be way easier than getting through the scanning process, but that's my move, so wish me luck. So I used my, my sly tactics and I got myself at least into Gallagher way. Walked in confidently and we're gonna go. I lit up from Reno, I was trailed by 20 hounds. Didn't get to sleep that night till the morning came around. Sit out, run, but I take my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, just my gets some sleep. Alright, quick update with what we got at Gallagher Way. They've got a band that's playing, they've got beer here, they got cornhole here, and everyone's just kind of hanging out, chilling, and uh, listening to tunes, drinking some beers. Smoking a little bit of weed too. Alright, I need a beer. Time a friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, just might get some sleep tonight. Well, with the old style, always sell it. Levy, but the devil caught me there. Took my twenty dollar bill and it vanished in the air. Sit up running, but take my time. A friend of the devil is a friend of mine. I get home before daylight, just might get some sleep tonight. Got two reasons why I cry away each lonely night. The first one's named Sweet Anne Marie, and she's my heart's delight. Second one is prison. Did it. All right, I'll tell you the story in a second. That was quick thinking on old Corey Wagner's part there. Yeah, that's what did it. Is. Let's go. First stop, might as well do the long wait for the merch. It ain't gonna get shorter. Cherokee. First one say she got my child, but it don't look like me. All right, I got the merch. I'm gonna show it to you in a second and tell you exactly how I snuck, how I snuck into this place. Story to come. Okay, so here's the merch. Obviously sick. Okay, and then here's the story of how I got in here. I apologize that I, uh, I didn't give any context that when I was coming in here, I was in such a rush. Once I knew I had an opportunity, I had to take it. I couldn't mess around with waiting on it. I saw a medic taking a guy in in a wheelchair, and I, I just got as close to him as I could, and then when I walked past the ticket guy, I just gave a point, I was like, ah, I'm with this guy. And they just let me on through. That was the move. Risky move, yeah, but you know what? You gotta take some chances if you wanna do fun things. All right, now I wanna take you guys real quick before we get down to the show. It's one of the coolest things I think at Wrigley Field. If you go up towards the top level, the area that overlooks Addison, there's a catwalk that you can walk onto in Wrigley Field. Let me, uh, here, let me show you guys. Go to section 300R and then walk down the stairs. Look at this, you're just kind of overlooking Addison and Clark Street basically. It's a pretty cool view. Between a sick view of the skyline and then also like getting to overlook Addison and Clark, it's, it's this, this little catwalk is pretty sick. Underrated people, I don't think people know about it. It's a little hidden gem of Wrigley. Let's figure out where the hell we're gonna sit at, huh?
found a kind of quiet spot. I just keep sneaking into better and better places. I'm now in some sort of VIP section where they've got these like tables and all these nice decorations. It seems like pretty good seats. I'm behind the stage right now. That's why the noise is a little bit better. I'm gonna explore a little bit more, but I'm probably gonna head back this way and, and make this my permanent spot. It was uh, wildly easy to walk up here. Dude, today is, I'm a lucky man. <laughs> I keep, keep pressing my luck, we'll see what's gonna happen, but so my hair is, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. All right, we'll show you a little bit more now. snacking on these? I wish. <laughs> <laughs> these are delicious. I saw many egg rolls. I gotta go back for more. <laughs> well, Got three of the spring rolls, got a slider. You find yourself in these situations, you gotta take advantage of them. Mm. 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 The food here is fantastic. Moments when things work out like this in life, don't let them go to waste. Alright, as long as we got the set break, I figure I might as well take you around to do a little tour of the VIP section. First up, viewing area one for tables and decorations. Cool seating, art installation type deal. Instagrammable spots. Bar number one. With couches, the food, second bar, and hangout area. That's it. Basically, the views are good, the sound is great, the food is free, and the beer lines are short. Speaking of, I gotta re up on some brew high. Let's go snag one.
the J Sharon here. good as time as any to end this journey. We started out today with a mission. We needed a little bit of patience, a little bit of planning, and a little bit of gusto. It turns out with that and a little bit of luck, you can get through Gallagher, Wrigley, VIP, Field. Four layers of awesome. All right, new Chicago story every week. See you guys next week. Peace.